First it was Tesla. BYD came out of nowhere and became the new king of electric vehicles. Now the next tech battlefield has opened up, and it's even bigger. Huawei is not just challenging the iPhone. It's gunning for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, AirDrop, UWB. Imagine a world where your phone connects to earbuds instantly, with no lag. Where your car key is digital and accurate down to the centimeter. Welcome to the age of Nearlink, a new wireless protocol born in China, faster, smarter, and built to dominate. In this video, we'll uncover how Huawei's Nearlink could shake up global tech, and why it might be the most disruptive innovation since Bluetooth was born. Huawei's Nearlink is more than a protocol, it's a message. A declaration that the next tech revolution won't be led by Silicon Valley alone. But will the world adopt it? Or will we see two tech worlds, East and West, develop in parallel? That's where you come in. Drop a comment below. Will Nearlink replace Bluetooth? Would you trust Chinese wireless tech in your devices? What other hidden tech revolutions do you want us to expose next? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because on this channel, Geo and Tech, we decode the future, one breakthrough at a time. The tech world is buzzing. Huawei, the Chinese tech titan, has unveiled Nearlink. This isn't just another wireless protocol, it's a direct challenge to established players like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Nearlink promises a future of seamless connectivity with faster speeds, lower latency and greater energy efficiency. Imagine a world where your devices talk to each other instantly, effortlessly and without draining your battery. That's the potential of Nearlink. Huawei's ambition is clear to reshape the wireless landscape. The company has a history of innovation, often pushing the boundaries of what's possible. With Nearlink, Huawei is making a bold statement. They are not just competing, they are aiming to redefine the rules of the game. The stakes are, are high. The wireless technology market is fiercely competitive, dominated by established players and global standards. But Huawei is undeterred. The company sees Nearlink as more than just a product. It's a strategic imperative. In a world increasingly defined by connectivity, Nearlink could give Huawei a significant advantage. Nearlink aims to address a critical gap in the wireless landscape. Bluetooth, while ubiquitous, is hampered by its limited speed and range. Wi-Fi, on the other hand, offers speed and range, but at the cost of higher power consumption. Nearlink enters the scene as a formidable contender promising the best of both worlds. Imagine transferring large files between devices in the blink of an eye. That's the promise of Nearlink's blazing fast data transfer speeds, six times faster than traditional Bluetooth connections. This leap in speed opens up a world of possibilities, from near instantaneous file sharing to lag-free streaming of high-definition content, but speed is only half the story. Nearlink boasts an incredibly low latency of just 20 microseconds, significantly outperforming both Bluetooth and even some Wi-Fi 6 implementations. This near instantaneous responsiveness is crucial for applications that demand real-time interaction such as gaming, virtual reality and even remote surgery. Nearlink isn't just about raw performance, it's about efficiency too. In a world increasingly reliant on battery-powered devices, Nearlink's 60% reduction in power consumption compared to Bluetooth is a game-changer. This means longer battery life for your devices, a critical factor in our always connected lives. The implications are far-reaching. Imagine a world where you no longer constantly worry about your wireless earbuds dying mid-workout, or your smartwatch running out of juice before the day is done. Nearlink's power efficiency could transform how we use and interact with our devices, freeing us from the tyranny of the charging cable. But Nearlink's advantages don't stop there. It can support up to 10 times more connected devices than Wi-Fi 6, making it ideal for smart homes and offices where a multitude of devices need to communicate seamlessly. This robust connectivity ensures that even in a crowded network environment, Nearlink can handle the load, providing a stable and reliable connection for all your devices. And action. Nearlink's emergence is set against a backdrop of geopolitical tension, particularly between the US and China. With the US imposing restrictions on Huawei, the Chinese company is pushing for technological self-reliance. Nearlink is a prime example of this drive, representing China's ambition to create its own technological standards and reduce its reliance on Western companies. The implications extend far beyond Huawei. Nearlink's success could accelerate the trend of technological decoupling between the US and China, 
This could lead to a future where two separate tech ecosystems emerge, each with its own standards and alliances. The future of Nearlink and its impact on the global tech landscape remains uncertain. Its success hinges on several factors, including widespread adoption by device manufacturers, the willingness of international organizations to embrace a new standard, and the evolving geopolitical dynamics between major powers. One thing is clear, Nearlink is more than just a technological innovation, it's a symbol of a shifting global order where technology is increasingly intertwined with geopolitics. Huawei's Nearlink is more than a protocol, it's a message. A declaration that the next tech revolution won't be led by Silicon Valley alone. But will the world adopt it? Or are we witnessing the birth of two parallel tech realities, East and West? That's where you come in. Will Nearlink replace Bluetooth? Would you trust Chinese wireless tech in your devices? What other hidden tech revolutions should we decode next? If you think Bluetooth is the end of the story, you're not asking the right question. Subscribe to Geo and Tech, where geopolitics meets innovation.